Hey fellow woodcutters, Top Saw here. I have a new saw stop table saw. Got on Marketplace, loving this tool. Had them at the high school for a while. Uh, finally got one at my house. Here's my router table stacked up with my sander. And then there's my router table. And then this flops over and goes in there, but you can tell it's just a little too crowded. So what I wanna do is I wanna take that router and set it right into there. I think it's going to work pretty well. There's my layout lines. You could just see them. And I'm going to cut them with the Shaper Origin. So we'll see how all that goes today in this video. So I drew the rectangle right on the screen on the Shaper Origin. And then it has a setting for width and height. It also has a setting for the radius. Uh, and that's the radius of the corners. Kind of reverse engineered those and checked them to be three quarters of an inch. I'm using a quarter inch flat end mill to a depth of three eight. So uh, I'm cutting a lot of wood out. I have the vac hooked up and I'm trying to move it pretty slow on my feed rate. I'm not using any offsets here at all. So I plunge down to that three eighths of an inch. I run one pass right on the inside of the line. What I'm going to do right here is just vacuum all the dust out, then double check my depth is 3 8 of an inch. I think it should work out pretty well right here. And then I'm also just going to overlay my router that's attached to the router plate over that and see if I'm close. And also I want to make sure I'm parallel to the front edge as well. So here's the router with the router plate that's going to drop in. It's a pretty good fit. And again, I used a quarter inch flat end mill. I did one pass to a depth of three eighths, and that's going to give me a quarter inch rabbit. Right here, I'm recognizing I'm going to need more rabbit than that, or as much as possible to hold on to it. So what I'm going to do is lift this thing up out of the way, and then do another pass. I don't have to create any new geometry at all. The only thing I need to do right here is create an offset of a quarter inch on the inside. So same geometry, reset it a quarter inch in, quarter inch offset. Camera's not lined up perfectly, but you can see it going around. Now I have that half inch rabbit. I'm gonna do another one after that with a half inch offset. Now I have that three quarter inch rabbit. And then I'm gonna do it one time more, a fourth time. What I'm gonna do here now is reset the depth to go all the way through at three quarters of an inch. So this is gonna be the fourth pass all the way around. You can see it's cutting all the way through the MDF. And then there's the actual box falling out. So I have a three quarter inch rabbit and it's a little bit tight right here. So what I ended up doing is now I'm gonna do a negative offset, 50 thou all the way around. And then once I do that, we'll see if it fits in there uh, a little bit better. Well, there's a rabbit. Uh, I did a quarter inch flat end mill, three eighths of an inch deep. I did three passes and then I did three quarters of an inch deep. And then I did a little offset around the outside to make it a little looser. It fits in there just about perfectly. Hex studs right here. Raise and lower the tabletop. Uh, let's see if I can go under here. There it is on the bottom. This is only three quarter inch MDF, so I'm gonna build a frame around the outside and nail it to this. So that'll make it all really solid. And then I'll, I'll build a box around here for dust collection. I think that's kind of it. I'll do that four inch port dust collection on the box. And then the fence, I'm gonna attach to my saw stop fence through this track right here. I don't know if I'm gonna bolt over the top and hook it down. And then this fence right here is gonna go 
here, and then dust collection comes from here out the end. So it's gonna be pretty tight dust collection. I have full use of the table saw. I didn't give away any area on the table saw. So I think that's it for this video. Oh, you know the other thing I will do to you is I'll get a switch. So I have a quick shut off switch right here. So I'll plug the router right into a switch here and then run that power to the wall. All right, well, thanks for watching. Any thoughts, please post them in the comments.